Hello everyone, real quick I wanted to clarify the last two videos I put out. I put them out without having the time to do the research, that's why I put that I couldn't verify the information, I was asking people to help me. It did seem kind of over the top, but it just was well written and I thought that it was interesting information and could be possible, but really seems like a real far stretch. For that to actually have happened so i would like to point this out here that josh was saying that the website is like the onion for nerds or geeks i believe the real discovery here is that now apparently in the 70s physicists really did name a particle after mandela which i found out as a result of all this and i'm going to show you that here but i i did while well, after i put out the videos then i went and researched the names of the professors at the universities and at cern and i couldn't find them it looks like they had mixed up names like joshua was saying here so i'm thinking of yanking the videos let me know i'm thinking i'm going to yank them they're still it's still interesting anyhow but you know i think for the most part it's made up however the mandela particle is not made up mandela's unusual tributes bird a nuclear particle named after him. So, hello, did anyone know that there's a particle named after Mandela? So there is a Mandela particle. Year, uh, British University named a nuclear particle after him, the Mandela particle. Got its honor in 1973, the year I was born, Moneybag 73, from the Physics Institute at Leeds University. I find that very interesting and bizarre that there's a Mandela particle, that it even exists. And here's some other information where they go into the Mandela particle. Uh, this was written August 75. The concept of the Mandela entered the physicist's armory in 1973. The Mandela fundamental particle would be 40 to 70 times the mass of a proton and was proposed by Leeds University Cosmic Ray Group. At the time... Of the Leeds work, no experiment had surveyed this energy at sea level deep in the atmosphere where the ultra-high energy primary cosmic rays might well produce new particles. The Mandela fitted neatly with theoretical proposals that a particle of that mass should indeed exist, the intermediate vector boson, which would mediate the, the weak interaction. So this gets quite technical here, but there actually is a Mandela particle. But they go on to say that um, there were some problems with the instruments that were used. And so I guess that the information, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure that, um, that the Mandela particle is actually a real particle. There was one named in 1973. But um, I'm trying to find the article where it mentions uh, what happened with the particle. I read that here somewhere. Anyway, I thought this was interesting. I'll link these two up down below. So let me know if you think I should yank those other two videos. I'm thinking that I will. I just think that's an interesting concept nonetheless. So that's about it. I will talk to everyone soon.